Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Panther Schools. My name is Amit Singh and in this video we are going to talk about uh, another scenario with the help of Millsoft Composer. So the scenario that we are going to talk is how we can migrate from one sales uh, migrate files from one salesforce org to another salesforce org before we go ahead please give it a like share subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any update from our channel now before we actually get started and start developing the composer flow let's quickly talk about the structure of file because the structure of file in salesforce is very complicated and it is very important for us to understand what is the structure of a file so whenever we are creating any file it is either created through ui with the help of upload button or from the file tab there is the very first object that is getting created is content version this object is responsible for storing the complete detail about your file it could be the version data it could be what is the latest version of your file what is the content document what is the content document uh, other information then immediately behind the scene what salesforce does is uh, they create the content document and one content document can have multiple content version and then salesforce also creates the content document link which creates a link between a s object which could be a custom or a standard object and between a file because content document is a place is a object which holds the information about content version as well as content document link and content document link is very key object which stores the link between any standard or custom object as well as the document the document which has been uploaded either through ui or through apex now let's quickly talk about a very simple document that we are going to create through apex I have got a simple test case here where I've got a blob value. I've created a blob dot value of some random text here. And then this is where we are creating the content version, providing some basic information like what is a title, what is the path on client, what is version data. Version data always contains or accept the blob value. That is why we have converted the text form into the blob. The file path on client is going to contain the title of your file including the extension that is why it has got txt file and then what is the origin it has two values i think h and l we are going to take h and we are going to insert so once we perform this statement or the line number nine is getting executed or completed the execution it is going to create the version for us it is going to create a content document for us and it is also going to create a content document link for us now what is going to be the content document link information so the this is going to create a link between the user who is creating the document and this file which is getting created so what i have done is i have on the first line simple information about uh, the document content then i've got uh, these few lines for creating the content version and then we are just doing the query on the content version to see what is the value for our content document and we will also do some debug statement over here so that we could get the information about content version and we can just uh, get the information about content document and see the information into the salesforce let's quickly go ahead and execute it so you could see here we have got a success message we have got the information about content document content version so this is the version id and this is the document id if we double click and copy the content document id and get back to salesforce and within salesforce if you go to files tab we will see that there is a file created the txt file with the name sample title here and if you click on that it's not uh, previewing us because it's a text file but if you download it will get downloaded or if you go to this uh, like click on this drop down and go to view file details you will see further details about the file what is the extension what is the size and you could clearly see it gives us the uh, basically uh, you we can see the outcome we can see the preview of our file 
and this is the content which we have added so but if you see here this file has been linked and shared with this user called admin user and this is basically nothing this is a content document link and if i query the content document link based on this content document we will see that there is a link has been created between the content document and the user who has created the file so we have just executed and you could see here the linked, uh, linked entity id that starts with 005 that indicates it's a user and the same way if you create a file if you insert a file under any account or any object it could be account contact case opportunity then it is going to create the two linked uh, like content document link object one with the object under that object we are uploading a file and second with the user who is uploading the file so the reason i was showcasing you this demo because if you notice here we are not passing any content document id and the content document is automatically getting generated behind the scene so while we are going to utilize the same concept in, in our composer we will not the content document id even salesforce is going to say that provide us the content document id in the composer but we will not provide that what value we will provide we will see that now let's quickly talk about what we are going to test here so we are going to test we will basically break down this video into maybe two three videos small videos so here what we are going to see is we are going to migrate the file so if there is any file which is being uploaded under this object Sorry, from the files tab, any file is getting, uh, getting uploaded using upload files. We are going to upload that to a different Salesforce org. Okay, so let's quickly go ahead to the composer flows tab, click on new. So there has to be two systems one is source and one is target. So our source is going to be this system itself, and target is going to be our Hindi org that we have connected. So once you click on new, select system event and then select salesforce here you will already see your org which is connected so i have already my org here that is my main org and what is the triggering source what is going to trigger our event so the triggering source is going to be whenever a new record is created because what happens behind the scene when we upload a file there are records created like content version okay what is the object we are going to say content version content version is our object okay what fields we wanted to select so let's click on get selected fields and we need to have some fields like version data okay we've got version data then we need to get the title path and client and origin content origin okay these are the four fields we have selected if you want there are so many fields you could select and that is not going to like uh, take much time for selecting you to fields next thing that we want to do is we want to now we have got this file and we wanted to send this file to us target salesforce or but there could be a possibility that uh, there are some error while we are sending or transferring the file from one org to another org so what we will do is we will add an error handler as we have already talked about and within the watch statement with, uh, within the watch we are going to do the plus and select system event and our target is salesforce so we are going to select salesforce and this time i am going to select my target org that is hindi org you need to select your target org where you wanted to transfer the files and then action is going to be new record because we wanted to create a new record what is the object the object is going to be content version itself because we wanted to create content version now if you see here it takes content document id but we really don't have because salesforce does create the content document behind the scene whenever we are uploading a new file so what we will do is we will hit enter and then we will select custom expression put a back uh, put a space here and then click on apply so what we have done is we've just added a space over here you could see here now we get a plus sorry not plus the close icon for closing this or clearing this value what should be title so we are going to select the title 
whatever we are getting from the previous step number one and we will select some additional fields and we are going to have the version data we are going to have path and client and we are also going to have origin okay and then if you have some custom object like uh, custom fields i have created source linked entity id okay this is a custom field which i have created on the content version object of my target org okay and we also wanted to take the description description field as well click on apply for content origin we will again take content origin from the triggered data for description we have description okay we don't see description because we have not selected here so let's go ahead and select description as well and then for the input value select description for path and client we are going to select the same value source linked entity id for now we are not going to send anything version data whatever version data we are getting from our file and go ahead and click on save you can name your for um, you can name the flow which is uh, making sense so i've given the flow name like migrate files from main org to hindi org and click on apply and as there is any error if you want you could have the error handler applied here for now i'm just ignoring it I'm not going to apply any error handler now we are ready to test but before we test it what could be the use case for migrating the file there are plenty number of use cases out there but the very popular use case that we see is we have file inside sandboxes and now we want to migrate those files to the production or maybe to the higher sandboxes like UAT or SIT or integration environment. So we can go ahead and utilize this composer to migrate the files and it is going to be automated. Like you could either use whenever a file is created or you could have a scheduler to create the file inside target org. Now let's go ahead and click on test. It is going to again do the do save your flow, then wait for test to start, and then it will give us 10 minutes to test the flow. So you could see here the flow has been started. What we need to do is we need to go to the files tab and then upload the file. So I have selected a file to upload here that is uh, 1.1 megabyte and you can see the file upload has been completed we will wait for our flow to take the file and then uh, do the processing in the meantime i'll open my target org so you could see here the test has been finished and we could see a green check marks here in the first step and we could see the green check marks here in the second step under watch as well and this is the id this is the content version id that has been created in the target org now if we get back to the target org this is my target org and if you go to files you can see this is the file which has been created on 20th 20th june right and if i click on this file you would see here this is the same file which i have uploaded in my source org if you are if i open the same file you could see that the same file has been uploaded at both the places so basically this is just a very simple use case which i have uh, demoed here i have showcased as a demo here that you could migrate the file between two orgs and these files are not unrelated to any org in the coming videos we are going to see how we could migrate the file that is related to an org in like, related to a record like for example a file is uploaded under account record and we wanted to upload the file into the account record that is equivalent into the different salesforce org so that is what we are going to see in the next video thank you for your time please give it a like share subscribe and also press the bell icon we'll meet into the next video thank you